Hi, fourth and fifth grade students. I'm Miss Chinisi, the orchestra teacher. Hello, I'm Mrs. Mann, and I am the band teacher. Today, we'd like to talk to you about taking instrument lessons. Instrument lessons for what? Band is a group of musicians who get together and play instruments that you either blow through or that you tap, shake, or scrape. The string instruments are with Miss Chinisi in the orchestra. This is not something you have to do, but if you want to do it, we want to tell you what lessons mean, how to get an instrument, and how to sign up. It's completely optional. It's completely free. It's only if you want to. What if I don't know how to play an instrument? You do not need to know anything about a music instrument before coming to us. It is my job and or Mrs. Mann's job to teach you how to play the instrument. It is your job and responsibility to learn how to play the instrument. If you like music, if you're looking for a challenge. What instruments do I have to choose from? In band, the flute, the clarinet, or the saxophone in the Woodwind family, the trumpet, trombone, or baritone in the brass family, or for percussion, drum and bells. You would learn both in lessons. In the orchestra, your instruments to choose from are the violin, the viola, which is very similar but slightly bigger. Both are played on your shoulder under your chin, the cello, which you play sitting down, and the double bass, which you play standing up. We've also created for you a choice board to navigate through to explore the different instrument options. It tells you information about each instrument and there's a little video clip so you can hear the instrument and see how it's played. You can scan the QR code on the paper you're going to receive, which will take you to this website here. Or if you go to my website, you can go right here and click to find out and explore. Where will we have lessons? Lessons will take place at your school in the music or band and orchestra room or another space during the school day. We talk to your homeroom teacher to pick a time where you're not missing anything from class that's super important. Don't worry. And if you do miss something, part of your responsibility as a band or orchestra student is to make up that work. How do I sign up? You can sign up two different ways. In the office, we have paper applications in Spanish and in English. The second way to sign up for lessons is to use our online sign up form. You can go from this same website and click on sign up forms, which will take you to an online sign up form, or you can print the paper one. If you can do the online one, definitely do because it's easier for Ms. Janisi and I to get your responses quickly. For the online orchestra form, click here. For the online band form, click here. Have your parents look over the form for all important information. Both forms will ask you the same questions, whether you do it online or on paper. How can I get an instrument? You can get an instrument three ways. The first way, you may have one in the family. Maybe your mom or dad played an instrument when they were a kid, or your brother has an instrument that you can use. If he's okay with it, borrow the instrument from him, let us know, and we'll get started on lessons. Bring it into school so Miss Chinisi or I can look at it and decide if it would work for lessons. A second way of getting an instrument is to borrow one from the school. The school has a very limited supply of instruments Receiving a school-owned instrument is not guaranteed because they are limited in number. Just because you sign up for one or ask for one does not mean that we have one for you to use. They are given out on a first-come, first-serve basis. We wish we could just give every kid an instrument who wants one, but we only have so many. That means if you tell us you want to play an instrument first, you will get an instrument from the school first. So if you want to borrow a school instrument, make sure you fill out that online form, 
or do the paper one with your grown-ups as soon as you can because the first people who turn them in are the first ones who will get instruments. The third way of getting an instrument is to rent one from a music store. Renting requires a little bit of money. Each month you'll pay a small fee to the music store to borrow the instrument from them. And you tell them, I would like to rent this instrument. And they charge you a certain amount of money per month in order to use that instrument. If the fee is not paid, the instrument has to be returned. The closest music store to us is Lozer's Music, located on Cumberland Street in Lebanon City. It is across from the College Hack and very close to the candy store, Wurtz's Candy and Quesadilla. Our application form will also ask about your grown-up's contact information and their phone number and email. Then hand it back in to your office or your homeroom teacher. If you're interested, go for it! In middle school, there are some music trips to Hershey Park. And then at high school, there are some trips to Disney World. But to get to those trips, there's a lot of hard work that you and I and Mrs. Mann all have to do. So if you're ready for this responsibility, explore that choice board and let us know if you'd like to take lessons by filling out an application. We hope you'll join us. Thanks for listening.